Didn't want that. Shouldn't have done that. Alright, if we move up right here, we'll be able to get him next turn. Man, those those shots, those shots are doing work. Oh god, those hits. Our ballisters are brutal bastards. Yeah, they're going after Eugene because he's he's the new guy. Well then, keep your shield up, new guy. But get a get your swipes in. What can we do? Well, we can move up and just start. Murdering folks. Or at least we can try. Oh my god, what a shot. Let's see, if we move up, we'll get three hits. Right in a line. Brilliant. We'll rotate him forward. And what does this guy got? That's, yeah, that would hit one of our guys. We don't want that. Let's see. Three? One. And can we shoot any of their guys? Nice shot. God, man, those, those crossbows are just always the bane of our existence. Yeah, let's get rid of this standard bear, then these guys just run out of morale. And there'll be nothing left of them. They should they should definitely like suffer a malice for having their standard bear get killed. Something where they're like, oh shit, we just lost the flag bearer. That's a that's a bad sign, right? Get hurt a little bit more than I'd like. Cheeky little poke. Again, they've got this like super sad music for, <laughs> for us attacking. When these guys are not, these guys are not just normal peasants. So there's two of them left. That's the only two then. Oh, 
Well, we'll see if we can actually get up here and take these guys out. Well, he stopped reposting at least. That's something. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, he's just gonna run away. All right, it's over. Get out of here. So we got plenty of gear. Excellent. All right, one down. Many more to go. So where are we actually gonna head? Herbalist Grove and goat pens. I'd like to head up north maybe. Let's see if we can actually just head Alright, we got this Triton Walk Company. Standard Bearer. Are we injured? Yeah, we are injured. Not much though. Let's take a quick look. We're not that hurt. We actually could swap out some of our armor. That's what it looks like with um, repaired armor. Like this guy. And that guy's back basically at full health. You're doing well. Everybody's doing okay, so we could probably just go ahead and attack these guys. So, let's do it. We're trying to, we're trying definitely to kill the, the fish bros and help the sun bros out. The fish people are cool. I mean, the, the fish people are the opposite of cool. They are, they are idiots and we hate them. Stupid freaking trout whatevers. We can, we will wear their hats upon our own heads. Alright. Yeah, these sergeants are jerks. And look, it seems like it's a lot easier to kill them with ranged attacks than it is to kill them with anything else. Well, let's just take a huge roundabout hit there. Well, we're going to catapult somebody forward. We might as well do it with this guy. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're definitely getting some good hits on him. And you... Yeah, we're, we're going to want to catapult both of these guys forward. So we can actually get some, uh, some work done. Yeah, see, those guys dodge everything. Shit! Those Arbalisters are just doing an incredible amount of damage to my guys. Is there anything I can do about that? We're just going to try to move right now. Yeah, good move. Good, 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 good. And we did get the hit, but I'm not super convinced that... Yeah, we're actually going to see if we can get around him. Ah, Jesus Christ, really? They got just nasty shots off on our guys. Aquaman lover? I don't know what you mean. Let's see, if we move forward, we'll be able to attack, so we'll do so. Shit. Ninety-five or seventy-five, but 
We have a chance to kill here. And that means we get to attack twice. Alright. I definitely want to take the shot on the Arbalester back here. 86. Yeah, it's a good it's a good injury. Turn done. X and one turn. Yeah, we're just gonna run Zakar into the middle of these guys. Get some threat. Can we actually Ah, we can't. If we move up two, can we get one shot on him? No. Fuck. Well, fine. We'll just get shots on other people then. Well, let's see. We can actually, looks like, rotate this guy back. And then we can rotate him back again, and hopefully he doesn't get freaking murdered by a goddamn Arbalister. Like, I cannot decide what to do. And hopefully Eugene stays alive. God, I almost thought they killed this guy. Just a couple more turns, guys. It'll be okay if you can last until then. Keep that sword up. That shield up. Yeah. 84% chance. And then we miss. Well, that's just how it works sometimes. Alright, we got them both running. Can we actually run... Oh, we can run right through their lines and get right next to the archer. That's that's exactly what we needed to happen. have happen. And <laughs> we're just going to run away with that guy. Nice. Those are the injuries we want to see. 26% shot. That's not a good shot. Oh no, he's gonna get a shot off on Egon. Man, he's just only being able to shield wall. Well, I guess I should not have shield wall that turn. Because he was already running. It's worthless. But maybe it'll save save him later for some reason. And just run away, Hagon. He's slowly bleeding to death, too. Nice. Alright, we only got one left. This was looking pretty rough there for a minute. It looks like we pulled out of it. One more hit. Alright, plenty of awesome loot there, lots of money, some tools, some tools is actually probably the best thing that happened there, because we're going to need to repair and heal and all that stuff, dang, we probably should head up to assisted, 
All right, we're going to run away from those guys. Return in three days. We only have three days to actually get this done. How in the hell are we going to do that? Like, we're probably just going to fail this mission because of time limit. That's crazy. No, 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 no. Alright, so they're going after them, so we have to run over. Maybe we can go kill these goat pens. A plethora of mercenaries. That sounds awful. This guy is just injured all hell, so... Egon the Old, I think, is going to have to sit this fight out. Like... We just don't have the... Don't have the time to wait for him to heal. No, we shouldn't do all that. Alright, well, let's see if we can actually take this out or if we really needed to have a run up to the other place. Let's see what we're facing, at least. A whole bunch of mercs. God, and they're just starting off getting the injuries on us, too. Wow. That is a lot of, that is a lot of range attack crap. It is not not a lightly defended place. Let's see what are our shots. Shots are all bad. Well, take them anyway. Yeah, Leaf is looking pretty roughed up. Alright, let's see. Can we get this guy? 40%? Nope. Should not have expected anything else. And we'll just get Zakar let's just get Karsten and just chuck him straight off a cliff up there. We'll see what he can do. And they're just gonna wall up, it looks like. Damn, those are slowly just chipping away at us here. It's not good for us. Could try taking the fight at night if we run into really, really bad problems. I mean, these guys have bows. They should be hitting our armor first. They don't have crossbows, at least. Damn, Jesus. Get in there. Mercenary. All the mercenaries. So Leaf, yeah, Leaf's not looking too good. We're actually going to rotate him out. Move him back. We got to just 
get in here, looks like. So let's do so. Sixty percent shot. What we should do is basically move forward probably three squares and shoot for this guy. We missed, but I think it's the right call. Alright, we'll get up right up in there. We just release a dog and just pray, <laughs> pray nothing bad happens. All right, one more shot at this guy. All right, getting, getting some hits in then. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. Cut it out with the damn tiny nets. Well, I think we got our guys retreated who, who were seriously, seriously injured. So we should, this fight should start to turn very much in our favor if, if nothing insane happens. And the big thing is, yeah, we just don't want anybody with injuries getting super messed up. Yeah, we don't want one of those critical armor destroys to come in and just wreck our entire face. God. He's injured, isn't he? No, he's not. Then why does he have such a low shot percentage? Man, they just keep throwing shit at us. Let's see, 40%, 35. They both have shield wall, so maybe I should go for the the armor break on them. Let's see. We can't move anywhere with this guy. So we might as well just move over take our piddly shots oh we almost got him 43 four, 55 go for that 55 crushing him and leaf your attack is yeah you should just retreat you're a little too injured I think Yeah, all right, we got those back row archers, at least we're getting them. Let's move you up. And the question is, do we just murder this guy? Do we do like a big swipe? Yeah, I think we do a big swipe. We got our action points back. And <laughs> we still can't get out of the damn net. Just because we're in the net doesn't mean we can't murder you. Hello, Carcan. It is still morning over here. And we're going to see if we can actually get through some of this. And we, we need to get this guy with the hammer murdered because... He's the one who can get through our armor. And that's a problem. Alright, let's see. What are our chances? 61? Well, let's just... Yeah, we got his armor off at least. So who can we shoot? 
I guess we just have to get up, get up in this. Nothing. Big goose egg. 66. Ah, missed. Well, we'll get him eventually. Man, this misses. More misses. <laughs> He's just knocking me back. What is this? Well, do we get out of the get out of the net, or we just murder somebody? I think we just go for a go for an attack. Man, they're taking advantage of this situation a little bit, a little too much. All right, you're out of action. Yeah, we're not able to use all of our guys because we're basically half dead. 27. Man, we do not have good good odds to kill people. Oh, the stun. He got it off. Pain in my ass. Man, we just can't hit anything. This is impressive levels of incom incompetence. God damn it! Come on, somebody... Somebody hit something! Like, they can't hit us? We can't hit them? This is ridiculous. God. This is abysmal. Can't believe it. Just nobody's... We... Just none of our guys hit anything! And we all have like a hundred attack. This is just ridiculous. This fight is a shit show. Bit more animations before bar sounds like a pretty good idea. Now we hit our own guy there, but worth it? Maybe. God. Uh, nobody can hit anything. Give me a fucking break. Finally. This is what we've been needing to do for quite a while here. Finally! Finally! Oh, come on. We had another ridiculous chance to hit there, and we just missed it. Oh, sucks. We're going to have to move back with all of our guys. Just go for it. And can this guy do anything to save his life? No, he pretty much cannot. He can't, he can't kill anybody. Can't do anything. Gah, he's struck down, so he's not dead, but he's pretty much dead. What a game. What a game. Can't kill anybody. Shit. Well, 
Well, this guy needs to tactically retreat, doesn't he? He can only move like one step. So let's see, can we kill anybody? 50% shot, not bad. We can at least rotate this guy out and then um, run away because <laughs> he has six hit, six hit points. They even like throw something at him, he could die. Oh man, please, for the love of God. Just, just get the hits. We just need a couple of hits, and and we'll have one. This guy's gonna move up and attack him, so we gotta run away. Turn done. I just, nobody can do anything. Jesus. So many misses. Well, I think we got this guy. You think his friend would be freaking out over here? All right, looks like we got him as well. And Torley, Torley finally got out of his tiny net. Good job, Torley. That's. That's why we keep you on the team, in case we get stuck in tiny nets. And then we just... We just leave you in them. Just let them bleed to death. So Eugen got a permanent missing ear. Um, that's not a bad thing to have permanently. So, okay. Not, not awful. Not absolutely, holy god. Bad. So we have three days to, to go do stuff. We are actually going to, we're going to run to, run to assisted. And we are definitely going to get our heal on and buy supplies and stuff like that. We don't even have enough, enough tools to repair our gear. So we're making progress. 22 undead. I would rather not fight you at the moment. Though they're probably scared of me. Undead are not known for being super, super amazingly tough. Alright, so we can actually heal. God, the guys are just messed up. Pierced arm muscles, pierced hand, pierced chest. Christ. This guy is a just a walking corpse, pretty much. So, let's sell things, because we absolutely have to sell things. We need to get more money. Thankfully, we actually have murdered a whole hell of a lot of people, so we have plenty of things to sell for cash. And thankfully, this place isn't 
teetering on the brink of destruction and actually is willing to buy things for a decent price. God, so many shields. So many shields. All right, cool. Everybody is healed. Let's let's get him some some booze to help him out. And doesn't look like any armor is really worth getting here. We don't have twelve thousand bucks to shell out on a coat of plates at the moment. So let's see. We'll heal in one to two days. We probably heal by tomorrow, one to two days. If we roll super well, treated, treated, we'll heal by tomorrow. Well, let's get rolling back over here. We'll save it up here with Noble War. And what are those? Those are just Naxxessers? Yeah, that's not a big deal. Alright, and we camped at noon. So let's... Messengers on the road say House Grimmund is under the new ruler of Koppeldorf, having taken from House Armsburg. Alright, Sun Bros are making some, making some headway. Awesome. So our guys do have some basic wounds going on, but it looks like we're making progress, and Bernard probably won't be able to to fight in the next... He won't be in the next fight. Everyone else is looking decently, though. So we got two days. Um, the plan is to go down here and then run to Holnenshoven and then take a take a boat to get back on time so hopefully we don't run into a bunch of shit here I do not have time for this we are I do not want to fight that battle Cause I want to finish this freaking quest. I don't want to deal with this crap. I don't want to waste my time. Let's throw that one dude back in the front row. So, we're there. Let's see what we've got going on. Alright, so it's a bunch of militia. A plethora of militia. And I am going to need a minute here. I'm going to short bio break and I'll be right back. So I'll just leave, the, leave it with these guys running around.
Now, I have fought with militia before, but I have not fought militia before, so... <laughs> they got some cool armbands and some other things, but let's see, do they have any archers? I don't see any archers at all. So what we're going to be more worried about are going to be the guys who... We've got those spears, things like that, I think. Everyone else, I believe, we're just going to be able to murder. Let's see, Karsten, you can probably throw Karsten forward here. Sakara, yeah, you're you're good to go, so just just start waiting. Waiting in there. And Eugen is Actually horribly injured, we should just leave him alone, unless there's some reason to move him forward. Alright, they do have archers. But they're not very good? That's what it looks like, at least. So we're gonna pretend that we're a bunch of Canadians. And you're all a bunch of baby seals. There's a lot of freaking militia. They're just standing around. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, seal clubbing is not funny. Clubbing seals. Let's see. These guys should not be that great. I'm surprised that the morale is has not like already horribly shattered and all of them run away. To be honest, after just like losing so many dudes all at once there. Maybe they're kinda like the Imperial Guard though. It doesn't really phase them all that much, because they just like, well, we're, we're gonna die anyway. So might as well die here. There's so many awful things. You don't scare me. <laughs> this is just a frickin' massacre. Alright, so we want those three guys to die. Well, Karsten, just run up there. Very good. Insta ban, yeah, banned from Twitch. Made bad jokes about Canadians. That's okay. I think these. I think these militia picked the wrong house to back. I still don't feel comfortable, even though these guys are pretty much just trash. I'm not going to throw some of these guys straight into them.
Yeah, it's over. Karsten leveled up. Great. We're never going to use Karsten if we, if we can help it. Karsten sucks. But he's level 14 now. He's he's awful at... I mean, he's not awful, but he's missing a finger and missing an eye and just... <laughs> Like, it really is awful. And Eugen is leveled up. Excellent. Well, would I rather get hit or... Well, we'll get resolved for him. So what do we want, want him to be? I, I believe we want him to be a back row dude, so that means polearm mastery. And we might as well actually throw a polearm on him. If, if he's got the mastery, let's, let's do it. Let's throw the. Let's throw it on. And let's also, like, chuck armor on him. And make him super tired and not able to do a damn thing. But maybe he'll get some more kills with that on? We will see. Anyway, let's save this up and let's see if we can run down to Holmshoven and get on a boat back to back to civilization. We should be just heading through the boonies, so it should be okay. Let's so just heading through these big big ass swamps. Brigands, thirteen of them. Well, they'll probably leave us leave us alone. Thirteen brigands is kind of trash mob. One day we have left, so we're going to cut it real close with raiding the hell out of that, that house. I wonder if the nobles can just, like, burn down each other's cities. Like, I know they transferred control, but if they literally just burn them to the ground, it'd be really funny. Well, let's buy stuff to start with here. We're definitely going to need more things. And this place is ambush trade route, so we're not going to... So we want to go to Grotenhaven. And leave. And where is our quest? Return where? Destroy any caravans or patrols. Return in one day. Okay, so maybe... I mean, we destroyed a patrol. Are they not going to give us the quest because we're supposed to have done... We're supposed to take out also a caravan? That would suck. I mean, I would understand why, but... I don't agree with I think we I think we did our jobs. We we murdered the hell out of those things. At great expense to ourselves, mind you. I mean, where did we... I mean, we could try to, like, just run up to one of these places and see if there's anything else. But I'm pretty sure Grotenhaven was the place. Maybe we run into a, a patrol up here. Or maybe it's just, you know, kill some stuff and then when you run back, we should start heading back. Okay, okay, fine. So, yeah, we're, we, we got everything finished and we have to head back. So, I was just confused. 
I was like, there's no more little quest objectives. Where did they go? Excellent. This place is a lot cheaper than the others. And they have cheap arrows, too. I like how some of the stacks of arrows are cheaper than other stacks of arrows. It looks like we kind of pulled out... Man, they're sending tons of soldiers north and everything like that. Which is great. We've kept... We... The Undead Invasion wrecked one of these towns down here, and we really were trying to prevent them from getting destroyed. So it's cool to see that, like, we kind of played favorites a little bit. And these guys made out, made out well as a result. Did we even look if there's a frickin' quest? Damn it. Ah... Uh. I'm just running back and forth. Let's see, this is... Patrol the road to Weisenfels, Otter Feast, Grottenhaven. Return in seven days. Alright, that's a good quest. And we'll see if we can murder any things along the way. I want to keep doing the quest for these guys, because then we can uh, slowly get the Sun Bros to conquer the rest of the world. Praise the sun. Does Koppeldorf have a temple and a tavern? Well, I kind of just want to look at the armory. So the last leg of the patrol is to Grottenhaven. So, I think we should actually just take the boat. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the boat to Hole in the Shoven. And we will head to, like, Irwin's Watch or something. Egon sits about the campfire telling war stories. If he's lying, it's merely an embell embellishment, as the scars all about his body speak unsightly truths. Everybody loves that. Killing men makes great bedtime stories. Gotta love the writing in this game. <laughs> so let's take a look at this Irwin's Watch place real quick. Let's also take a look at our guys and make sure that we're healed up and that we're wearing the appropriate gear. Uh, looks like we are not on some of our guys. Like, let's see, you, Egon, could be wearing the Lamellar harness, but then again, that's more weight and you're not super... You're actually kind of already, you know, you're old. So... Can anybody else wear it? Uh, yeah, actually, yes. We could throw, throw it on Bernard. Man, our archers have just ungodly amounts of armor. <laughs> it's, it's to the point where any sort of adversary probably would be targeting our front row guys because they have less armor on <laughs> collect some heads so let's see we got the manhunter and a whole hell of a lot of dudes here let's see exactly what we're fighting I don't see a master archer just some normal brigand dudes and of course they're just gonna sit back like like jerks and wait for us to do stuff Uh. So let's get up there. And what do we look like? Friggin' marksman, marksman, all this. It's 
probably our best shot right there. So let's get let's get moving. Let's get our dudes up on the higher ground. Yeah. Just get up there. Let's go. Just remember the cat in the tree. Yeah, that's true. It's like, oh, the poor kitty. Shoots it in the face with an arrow. Oh, oh, oh. But at least that kid had some to eat. Which is funny, which is if you... If your guy actually kills the cat... He says the same thing as if the cat lives. <laughs> like, there's there's a no-win situation there for the cat. Like, either he dies up in that tree, you know, by, like, a merciful shot in the face, or or it dies later as food for, for the kid. I mean, it's food either way, but I'm probably in a less merciful way. Probably just, like, kid takes a rock, bashes the cat's skull in or something. Equally gruesome. I don't know. I've never I've never killed a cat. I wouldn't know how it's supposed to be done. We usually try to stay away from murdering domesticated animals. It's not, you know, you just don't really do that very often. Man, these guys don't have the best archery skill. I would have expected them to be hitting a lot more than they are. So we'll see. Because if they were hitting us with like these crossbows, we'd be having a pretty rough time at the moment. It'd be nice if they showed us the rolls for the enemies in the in the little dialogue window. Because you don't know if the reason you're missing or they're missing, you don't always know exactly what's going on. Because you're like, well, why why was that not a hit? And things like that are questions that normally you need to be able to get good answers to. Nice shot. Can we get... Yeah. Well, let's just move up and start murdering faces. <laughs> 